good morning students today i am going to discuss about what is cost estimation objectives of cost estimation functions of cost estimation and then cost estimation procedure so we can see one by one so what is cost estimation before we are going to discuss about cost estimation you should know about what is estimation estimation is nothing but to compute about some quantity the exact magnitude cannot be determined in the estimation procedure so what is cost estimation the estimation of expected cost of producing a job before the actual production is taken place so why we want to calculate cost estimation to compete in the market whether we are going to generate a profit or not for this purpose only we have to done the cost estimation sometimes if you are estimating over means it may be increase the cost of the product or otherwise sometimes if you are underestimating the product the company has to face heavy loss so this is very tricky process so the objectives of cost estimation so the cost estimation process decides whether we are going to manufacturing or selling for taking the policy the cost estimation is <coughs> tool is useful for finding whether we are going to manufacturing or selling then if we want to submit the tender to any organization we have to do the cost estimation similarly if we want to decide the overhead amount before starting the product if we are doing cost estimation this cost estimation is decide the overheads amount to fix the wage or salary to the employee similarly to decide the material purchase so these are all the objectives <coughs> for the cost estimation functions of cost estimation as we already discussed in the previous slide the uh, objectives of cost estimation the continuation of the slide to submit the tenders for getting the contracts and similarly to find the material cost labor cost tool and equipment cost overhead charges so for fixing the selling price we need to calculate the material cost labor cost tool and equipment cost and overhead charges so for doing the process effectively we have to conduct the conducting time or motion study in order to eliminate the unwanted movements similarly selecting modern method or equipments which is associated to do the manufacturing process of the product then recording all the things for future reference so these are all the functions of cost estimation so for calculating the cost estimation it is done by the cost estimator so what are all the qualities are essential for the cost estimator the cost estimator is able to read the and understand the drawings the cost estimator has also good knowledge about the machine operations similarly the cost estimator also familiarized with the different types of tools different types of work holding devices such as jigs and fixers etc awareness about material and market price how to fix the wage rates wage sorry wage rates to the labors 
how to fix the various types of allowances while we are producing the component. Process parameters like cutting speed, feed depth of cut for different kinds of products. How to conduct the time study or motion study. So these are all the qualities which is essential for the cost estimator. Next cost estimation procedure. The first and foremost step in the cost estimation procedure is Desired requirement and specifications. So based on that only we have to proceed furtherly. Then based on the requirement <coughs> the manufacturer has to produce the drawings for drawings, assembly drawings. So once we are creating the drawings, then based on the drawings, what are all the machines, what are all the tools is required in order to make the product. After that, based on the machines and manufacturing methods, Decide the accuracy and the finish required for the component. Once we are fixing the accuracy and surface finish, then based on that we have to prepare the list of components which are all the required for completing the product. Then finally, to take the decision whether we are going to make the component or we are buying the component. That is called make or buy decision. So based on those things, we determine the material cost. So we know the material cost is nothing but what are all the materials is required for completing the required product. So this may be split into direct material cost and indirect material cost. Then machining time calculation. For completing each and every product, how much machining time is required? That is called machining time. Then next step is to determine the labor cost. Similarly, how the material is split into two types, direct and indirect. Similarly, the labor is also split into two, direct, two types, direct labor cost and indirect labor cost. Direct labor cost means the labors are directly involving to complete the product and indirect co labor cost means overall indirectly associated for doing that particular product. So determine prime cost. So prime cost is nothing but the summation of labor cost, material cost and direct expenses is called prime cost. From the prime cost, we have to calculate factory cost. Factory cost is nothing but prime cost plus factory overheads. Once we are calculating prime cost and factory cost, then we have to calculate the administrative overheads. So those administrative overheads is added into added for calculating the manufacturing cost. So the manufacturing cost is nothing but factory cost plus administrative overheads. Once we know the administrative overheads then only based on that we have to calculate the manufacturing cost. Then finally find the total cost. Total cost is nothing but summation of prime cost plus factory overheads plus administrative overheads plus selling and distribution expenses. So after that finding the total cost we may fix the profit. Either we are going to fix 10% or 20% according to the component, according to the situation. 
according to the marketing trend so for fixing the selling price the total cost is added into the profit finally estimate the time of delivery in consultation with the production and sales department